Every landscape has a story to tell, a promised land to walk the path yet not yet paved. Countless opportunities arise. Through these adventures, friendship as strong as the rock that covers the land are formed easier than a spider weaving its web. This is the true victory of an expedition. The Yukon, 183,000 square miles of raw, ravaged landscape. Now home to an intrepid group of young explorers, eager to pave new paths along mountain ridges and valley floors. So we are going, we are heading off this morning on uh, possibly a four or five day trek. Uh, we're going today, I think, up to Ramblers Hill. Uh, so we're just packing and making sure we've got all of our last little bits before we go. Very exciting. <laughs> You're a young lad. We're good. It just says like, you use this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> So pretty epic was doing two peaks 4am, getting up, just doing them and then getting down to base camp that evening, but like soaking wet, like drenching out and then having to march down with one of our TLs who did a bit of army training so that was pretty epic to kind of get the morale up. Then a lot of bushcraft and a lot of, lot of carving and a bit of fishing so you get to just do other things whilst, well besides kind of just doing your hiking, doing your canoeing. And then, to be honest, they're people that you meet and their overall experience is life-changing. You're not going to come back the same person. But a new challenge awaited our young explorers. Canoeing 230 miles of the Great Teslin and Yukon Rivers. Uh, we're rafting down the Teslin River, we're going about 6k, so we can just sit here and float on down. It's pretty cool. Do we not have like a tarp we can just pull over all of us? What, like a giant blanket? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're we're do that, we can just cut holes for our heads to pop that out. Didn't look cool. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Canada. I think it's amazing. Like the scenery and stuff is incredible. Like it's just so huge. Everything's big. Like definitely do it. Like I did the debate quite a lot about whether I wanted to come or not, and sort of was like, oh, will I manage it and that? And everyone's just been so lovely. Everybody's really friendly and like wants you to be there and wants to help you and like to talk to you and stuff. Like you never feel like people don't want to spend time with you. So the mozzies we can be put on socks and boots so they cannot eat our feet. Up Rambler shall we go, Arctos and never slow, hardcore but fabulous, soon you all know.